Introducing yourself in English. When introducing yourself in English, there are several points you need to include in your speech. The first being the greeting. This is how you initially approach your audience. Greetings can be formal or informal. Examples of formal greetings include hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's a pleasure to meet you, it's nice to see you again. Informal greetings include hi, hiya, hey, what's up? Morning. How are things? How's it going? It's good to see you. What's new? The next thing you want to do is introduce your name. So there are several ways of doing this. My name is. I am. I'm. So examples of this include Hello, my name is Anna. Hello, I am Stacy. Good morning, I'm Becky. The next point you want to introduce is your age. So tell the audience how old you are. I am, followed by the number of years, years old. I'm, followed by the number. Or you can say, I am in my early, mid or late, followed by the decade, if you want to be quite vague about your age. So examples of this include, I am 20 years old. Or, I am in my early 20s. Next, you can introduce your place of origin, so where you are from. You can say, I am from, I come from, I was born in, I am originally from, so examples of this include I was born in China and I now live in London or I am from China Residence So residence includes where you live You can describe the country, town or city that you live in or the house or apartment I live in, I currently live in, I am currently living in. So examples of this include, I currently live in an apartment in London. Occupation, occupation is your job. I am a manager at I am a student studying at a university. I work at, and then state the company. Or, I have my own business where I, and then explain your role. Examples include, I am the manager of a coffee shop. I have worked there for the past five years. Or, I work at Selfridges as a customer service advisor. Family. So, when describing your family, you can say how many people are in your family or describe each person individually. I am from a family of, and then insert the number of people within your family. 
I have two brothers and one sister. My family consists of, and then mention each person. Examples of this include, I am from a family of four. My family consists of myself, my parents, and my two younger brothers. Hobbies. So hobbies are what you enjoy doing. So you can describe this by saying, my hobbies are, in my spare time I like to, I enjoy, I like to spend my time, so you can say, my hobbies are drawing and reading, or I love to spend my time drawing and reading as it makes me feel happy. Future goals. So future goals are what you aim to do in the future. You can say, in the future, I would like to, or I aim to become a doctor. My dream is to. An example of this is, my dream is to become a doctor so I can help people get better. Or, in the future, I would like to travel around the world. Lastly, you can include a short description of yourself or describe yourself in a couple of words. You can say, I would describe myself as, or I am, my friends would describe me as, and then a couple of words, a couple of examples include, kind, caring, optimistic, humble, positive, naughty, thoughtful, trustworthy, hopeful, and honest. So an example of a, an introduction of myself would include the following. Good morning. My name is Anna. I am 20 years old. I am originally from China, but I currently live in an apartment in London. I am a student studying at university in London. I am from a family of four. I like to spend my time drawing and reading as it makes me feel happy. In the future, I would like to become a doctor. I would describe myself as a kind and friendly person who loves to meet new people. So using the 10 points that we have just learnt, can you write a short paragraph introducing yourself and share them in the comments below?